Hello everyone, the Python programming language comes up with a new version every once in a while to introduce the new changes. Python 3.11 was introduced earlier in October this year and December marks the time when Python 3.12 is going to be released. It includes addition of modules and deprecations from previous versions that are no longer needed in the latest release. In this session, we will go through the latest version and how it has changed from the Python programming language users and enthusiasts perspective. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this session. So we're going to start with the important applications that will take place in Python 3.12. And after that, we will look at the highlight of the release with improved error messages. Moving further, we will look at some of the new features in Python 3.12. And finally, we will sum up this session with improved modules in the new release. I hope the agenda is clear to you guys. So before we begin, hit that like button and subscribe to IntelliPad and stay updated with more such sessions. So let's take a look at some important deprecations or removals that will take place in Python 3.12. So first of all, there will be a removal of this util package and a removal of WSTR from Unicode. So the this util package has been recommending the usage of the setup tools package instead and uh, setup tool supports the exact copy of the distutils package and has eliminated any dependency on the distutils package and the motivation for the removal of the package was due to the undocumented and less maintained package that distutils is it was causing hindrances in the updates of the same by only major releases and users could not rely on the fixes so it made more sense to remove the distutils package the next one is the removal of WSTR from Unicode. So WSTR and WSTR length were introduced after the removal of Unicode APIs to support the deprecated APIs. In the new release, WSTR and WSTR length will be removed and the deprecated APIs that don't use the members are out of scope and will not cause any harm and can be removed independently. The motivation behind the removal of WSTR is the memory usage, runtime overhead and simplicity. So now that we are done with the important removals, let's take a look at the improved error messages that we will have in Python 3.12. So the first one is the name error. When a name error is being raised, modules from the standard library will be suggested in the error messages as you can see in the image here. So in any conventional or the previous releases, the suggestion that is given over here which is did you forget to import sys module was not given and this is kind of a very good highlight that will be introduced in the new python 3.12 similarly in the case of uh, the name error being raised in a method the attribute name will be displayed in the suggestion as self dot name as you can see in the image over here the name itself is given in the solution or the suggestion in the name error which is uh, saying did you mean self dot black after this, the new improvement would be in the syntax error, where the syntax error when importing modules will give you suggestions with the correct syntax in the error messages. As you can see over here as well, it is uh, telling us, did you mean to use from import instead? So this is one of the very good highlights that will be introduced in the Python 3.12 for new learners who are you know, starting out with a Python programming language. And then again, we have uh, some improvements for the import error as well. So import error being raised will have suggestions with the suggestions to resolve the error itself. So as you can see in the image over here, it is uh, uh, saying that cannot import name chain map from collections and it is also giving us the solution itself in the suggestion again. It is saying did you mean chain map. So here the case is, uh, you know, the case of uh, the string that we have written is the error. Basically it is showing us this is how you write to import the module. Then again, now that we are done uh, with the improved error messages, that is kind of the highlight of Python 3.12. Let's also take a look at some of the new features that will be introduced in Python 3.12. So Python support for Linux per profiler, which is the addition of uh, Linux per profiler, a powerful tool that enables you to profile and get the information about the performance of your applications. You can use it by a new environment variable, which is uh, called as Python per support and a new command line option that is hyphen x perf and uh, sys dot uh, activate stack trampoline and uh, sys dot uh, deactivate stack trampoline and sys dot is active stack trampoline APIs. 
So the, this is by far the new feature that will be added in the Python 3.12 uh, new release. And that's all for the new features. So let's take a look at some of the improved module that will be included in the new Python release. So first of all, these are the list of uh, modules that will have some improvements in them in the Python 3.12. So let's take a look at all of them one by one and see what all improvements will be there. So for the array module, the array.array .array class now will support subscripting that will make it a generic type. So that is the improvement for the array module. And then we have the Ascensio module in which on Linux, so on a Linux, PI DFD child watcher, if OS.PI DFD open is available, we can use that instead of thread child watcher. And then there are some deprecations in the child watcher classes, and uh, it is recommended to not uh, manually configure a child watcher. And these are only some of the uh, improvements that I'm telling you about. Obviously, if you check out the documentation, there'll be a more detailed explanation of what, what all these improvements are and how you can use them in your programs. The next one is the path lib and you can add walk instead of os.walk for walking the directory trees and generating all files and names within them. And then we have the disk module in which sudo instruction opcodes are going to be exposed in the disk module. Then we have the os module and in this we can basically use os.path.is junction that is a function to check if the path is a junction or not. So this is one improvement that will be included in the os module. And then we have the shut il which in which we have our shut il dot make archive which will now pass the root directory arguments to custom archivers that support it. Also this is one of the improvements or uh, you can obviously check out the other improvements on the documentation. And then we have the sqlite 3 module in which uh, there is an addition of command line interface. And then we also have an addition of auto commit in connection and auto commit in connect uh, method for transaction handling. And then we have the threading module. In the threading module, we have the addition of threading dot set trace uh, all threads and uh, threading dot set profile all threads to set tracing and profiling functions in all running threads. And then we have uh, the Unicode data module in which the Unicode database has been updated to a new version, which is 15.0.0. And then last but not least, we have the temp file in which an optional parameter delete on close in temp file dot name temporary file module is going to be available. So with this, uh, we have come to the end of the session guys. So you tell us in the comment section below how exciting these changes are for your implementation using Python programming. Also tell us more about your experience with Python programming language and how it has helped you in your programming journey. If you haven't subscribed to IntelliPad yet, please do and uh, press the, the bell icon to get the latest updates on IntelliPad. Thank you and have a nice day. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPad has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. 